guys, today's video is a what's in my practice swim bag. So this is my swim bag. It is the Speedo Teamster bag in the larger size. Let's dive right in. So here on the side pocket, I have my water bottle. It's a little bit beat up, but I've had it for a while. I love this water bottle. It's insulated and it keeps everything ice cold. This is the Under Armour Beyond water bottle. I've had this water bottle for about a year and a half now and I absolutely love it. The other thing in here is, of course, a bar for in between practice and dry land because otherwise I'll get really hungry and I can't swim on an empty stomach. It just doesn't work. So, always have to have a bar in here. This is the Amazing Grass Green Superfood Chocolate Peanut Butter Protein Bar. This is my absolute favorite bar. They're really good. The other thing I have in here is this Maca Mocha Super Rebel Herbs drink. It is made with coconut milk, so there's no milk in it, and there's also no coffee in it. I know, but it tastes like a mocha, but there's no coffee. <laughs> so there's no caffeine at all in it. It just has a bunch of uh, roots and herbs in it that are really good for you, and it always helps me during practice. Make sure you shake it though, because it really settles and all of it gets stuck at the bottom. Mm. Oh, it's so good. I have a lip balm in here because as swimmers, you all know that our lips get really dry, especially with all the chlorine. My lips are constantly peeling, so I like to always have lip balm with me. This Blistex one is my absolute favorite, and it's the berry one. I have a nose clip in here. This is my Aquasphere nose clip that I mentioned in my Michael Phelps snorkel review. I will link it right here and also down below in the description. I absolutely love this. And also something really cool, I put this hairband on it, so when I go to practice, that way I don't lose it like I did all my other nose clips. I literally lost like three of them. I just loop it through around this uh, little hook here on my water bottle. So I just link it through like that and then I never lose it. And this little case that it comes in opens up really easily, but it's not like it's going to open and fall out. It's secure, but in the middle of practice, you can open it and grab it really fast. I have this little adapter thing in here I like to keep with me for my waterproof case I have for my phone because it's so thick that I can't put earbuds in there without this adapter that it comes with. So, handful of hairbands because you can never have too many hairbands. It looks like I have one, one lonely little bobby pin. I don't know why that's in there. That's it for that pocket, let's go to the other side. This one's a really cool little pocket because it just unzips all the way like that. In here, uh, this is a little shower cap that I got at a hotel, like those complimentary shampoo and conditioners they give you. I haven't used it yet, but I just keep it in there just in case I need it. I have some lotion in here. This one is really thin, so I can put it on after practice and it doesn't look oily like night creams do. Yeah, this goes on really well after practice. I just recently found this a couple months ago and I've kept it in there and I really like it. I also have these little nail polish remover wipes. I actually just got these for my birthday and I haven't gotten to use them yet, but they look really cool. They are pear scented, so I'm kind of excited to use them, but I haven't had a chance to. Those are really cool. I can't wait to try them. And also in here, I have some deodorant because you always have to keep that in your bag, especially when I live at the pool. You have to have this for after practice. Nobody likes to stink. <laughs> in the bottom of my bag here, I just have some little clips and bobby pins. That's where that other bobby should pin should have been. I don't know why it was in the other pocket, but I just have these. They're really convenient to keep with me all the time in case I want to put my bangs back or do something with my hair. That's it for that pocket. So now I'm going to move on to this front pocket here that is covered with all of my stuff. <laughs> but it just kind of unzips all the way across. If I open this in here, I have another package of hairbands. <laughs> I have so many hairbands. 
At the pool, my friends ask for hair bands. They always ask me because they know that I have hair bands with me. It also has these two little marker pockets. Just stick your markers in there and they stay and they're really convenient to just grab since they're right by the front of the pocket. And they also have these little tiny pockets on the front. Oh, all my little bag tags are getting in the way. Let me see if I have anything in here. I don't think I do, but it does have this little clip attached inside the pocket also. And then in this other one, I don't have anything in there either. But I think I used to put jewelry in there. So it, it's convenient for jewelry when you don't want to lose it in a big pocket. I'll just stick it in those little pockets. Can't forget about this pocket. This is so convenient on here. It's just this little pocket. It looks really small from the outside, but it's actually, it kind of, it goes all the way down. So I'm just going to unzip this. This pocket is like my junk pocket. I have a lot of stuff in here. Um, and I also like to keep my phone in here because it fits all the way down through really perfectly. So I keep my phone in there. I have Halloween candy. These are Surf Sweets Organic Fruity Gummy Bears. They're so good. I have another package in here. <laughs> and I also have this little Ziploc bag of energy drinks. These are vitamin C drink powder that you just pour into your water. So sometimes I'll put that in my water bottle. I also have my wallet, but there is no money in it right now, so I don't even know why I have that with me. <gasps> the bomb almost fell. Oh, I have a dollar here that should be in my wallet. And then I have my Hawaii tickets for the zone meet that I had last summer. I kept them with me this whole time. They're awesome. I have one of these EOS lip balms. I didn't even know it was in there. I was looking for this. It's nice to know. And then I have a wall adapter in case I have a charging cable, which I don't think I have in my bag right now, but it was in there. And then I have an empty earbud case <laughs> for my <laughs> Apple earbuds. It's empty. And it's empty for the first time, I think, since I've gotten this bag. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to move on to actual swim stuff. In here, I have an inside-out cap. This is my absolute favorite cap in the entire world. I've had this cap for a year and a half. I wear it almost every day to swim practice. I only have one cap with me for practice because I only single cap. I do bring this cap to meets and then my team cap to wear on top because I like to double cap at meets. But at practice, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> this is a Speedo Love Music cap and it's actually discontinued. So if this rips, that's going to be it for that cap and I'm so sad. These are my holy grail goggles. Ever since... I was like really little, I got these and I've loved them ever since and every time they break or start molding I just get another pair of the same ones. These are the adult Speedo Vanquisher 2.0 goggle in the rainbow kind. I saw these online and I was like, they're rainbow, I need those. <laughs> the last thing in here is of course my practice swimsuit that I'm going to wear tonight. This is the TYR camo print suit in the pink version. I also have the gray version and I love them both. They're so awesome. I just got these and I've been wearing them almost every day at practice because they're really comfortable. And I just love TYR suits. All of the suits that I have except racing suits are TYR because their practice suits hold up really well. Mitzi came and joined me. Alright. She got a hairball in my bag already. It must have like flown off of her when she came up here. Mitzi actually means kitty in German. I got to pick out her name because I speak German and I just thought it would be a great name for her. In this pocket, this is the top pocket, the giant pocket, the middle pocket. But in here I have my Nike shoes because today is a dry land and swim practice day. These are the Nike Flex Experience ones. I love these because they're really comfortable and they have a wider toe bed than the other ones. So they're easier to like run in for a long time and bike and everything. Then I also have the clothes I'm going to wear to dryland today. I have my 
super bright leggings and my workout top. These are the Calvin Klein performance leggings. They have a cropped kind. I love these. They only sell them at Macy's, but they have a whole bunch of different designs. I have a couple pair of these. They're some of my absolute favorite leggings to wear. And then my workout top here. This is one of the newer tops that I've gotten. It has like mesh around the top and around the back of it. This is the Nike Dry Fit top. These are really cool. I'm, I'm really liking them right now. And then, of course, I have my Michael Phelps snorkel in here. Again, you can go watch that video. I'll have the link in the description. But I always bring this with me. The buttery bottom down here, I have my brush, of course. This is the Conair brush and the really big one because I like the big brushes. And it's purple, of course. That is my absolute favorite color. And then down here I have another brush. This is uh, a little f unfoldable brush with this mirror on it here. And it just kind of goes boop. <laughs> and it pops out like that. Nothing in there. There's this extra little pocket in the back here that I'll sometimes put shampoo and conditioner in. But I don't have any in there right now. Another hair clip. <laughs> That's it for my bag, but I thought that I would mention uh, all the little things that I have on here. <laughs> so, first thing on here is a little lanyard. My mom actually made this. This is polka dot, and then it's navy on the other side. It just looks pretty. So, here are my bag tags. I have quite a few on here. And then I have some little sparkly things that you guys can see. I have this little bicycle here. It came with some of my biking shorts that I have and I've, I just hung it on here because it looks so cool and I love to bike. I go biking a lot. And then I also have a carabiner clip for, I don't know, sometimes when I need a carabiner clip. Useful. And then I also have this little Hawaii flip flop from when I went there for the zone meet last summer. And I also have a turtle from that meet. And then I have this leaf from the Canada meet. I have two meets there every year. And uh, I just thought this looked so pretty. So I was like, I need to get that. Last but not least, I have these little sparkly bottle cap things. One of my friends from the swim team makes little crafts like these a lot. And she made these for all of the people who were swimming the mile for the first time a couple years ago. I thought they were so pretty and they've been on my bag ever since. I hate the mile, so... And when I saw that she was handing them out to people, I was like, I will swim the mile for that little sparkly thing. My last two little things, these are from a zone meet that I had two years ago. These are just all the little bands that we got. There are these, these little markers and I put them on this little hook thingy and they just pop off like that and they snap back on. They're great for writing your event heats and stuff onto your arm at swim meets and then you don't have to worry about keeping markers with you because they're hanging off the side of your bag. So this kind of turned into a hot or not because I was telling you all about the pockets and everything that I liked about it so I really love this bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this what's in my practice swim bag. Give this video a big thumbs up and also leave a comment below if you want to see what's in my meat bag. Subscribe if you haven't already to see my next video. Bye! Okay, that's a little bit strange. And those are the other lotions that I have. Lotions. Why am I looking in that pocket? <laughs> oh, here. And then this is a Victoria flower from Canada. It's a leaf. Why did it's I a say flower? It's a maple leaf. <laughs> Why did I say flower? <laughs>